Inman Cambridge doing business at Inman Square Wine and Spirits. Please raise your right hands. I swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but Good morning. Could you please state your names and spell your last names for the record? Joseph Souza, S O U S A. Jonas Allen, J O N A S. I'm sorry, Jonas, you lost me. At what? Also, Ben Zito, S Z E T L K, please. Now the building is BVE and I K, licensing investigator. While performing a field investigation, an underage individual working with the Cambridge License Commission was able to procure a six-pack of beer on August 6, 2019 at 2.30 p.m. at Inman Square Wine and Spirits, located at 1226 Cambridge Street. I picked up the underage operative from the Cambridge Police Department on the afternoon of August 6. I collected all items from the individual so that there was nothing on their person and gave them one marked $20 bill. We reviewed the License Commission's compliance check guidelines and the individual signed the Agreement of Participation, Waiver of Liability, and Guidelines. The underage individual entered the establishment and I waited a few seconds before entering as well. Observing from inside the premise, I was able to see them pick up a six-pack of beer, bring it to the register, pay for the item, and leave the premise. I followed the operative outside and retrieved the six-pack and changed immediately. I also asked if the cashier who sold them the six-pack asked for identification and the operative informed me that they had not. I returned the six-pack and change, informed the cashier that they had sold the six-pack to an underage person, and requested my Mark $20 bill back, which they returned. I then filled out inspection form number 976, which was signed, and a copy was left with the establishment. Mm -hmm. that, that's uh, precisely what did happen. Um, it was a uh, lapse of uh, judgment store I'm responsible for the training for staff. Um, I do take um, IDing our customers seriously. Um, I was briefly distracted at the moment. It did happen. It's become a teaching moment for our staff at the store that nobody's above us. Everybody, even if you're just stepping in the cashier, you have to be diligent with this. Um, as a good faith, um, We've updated our serve safe training to have to that to have that up to date and, and implemented a store policy where all of our employees have to get certified as well. Um, again, we apologize for the violation. It's something we do take seriously. Thank you. Were you the cashier for this incident? I I had stepped in the cashier, the cashier was not in at the moment. Um, and there was a, I mean, I'm not going to make excuses. There was a circumstance where at precisely the time this person did come in, a woman came in, they had just purchased a bottle of wine, and informed me that she had dropped and broken a bottle right outside the store. And I was trying to ascertain what she was telling me as this person came in. I was distracted something that is professionally embarrassing to me. Um, I've been in restaurants, hotels, and you know, retail for about 20 years. I've never had anything like this happen to me. And like I said, this has become a teaching moment for our soul. In terms of record, they've been open since 2015 and have no disciplinary history. With that said, again, I'm just concerned in terms of public safety issues and, you know, not even I understand the circumstances and everything, but I would vote consistent with our, uh, with our previous, and I would do violation today. Concur. I concur. I'll send you a statement of reasons. Thank you.